Hello, uh, I would like to share some interesting application with you. So on, on the left of my screen you can see a model of an aircraft which is uh, graphics which was made in MATLAB actually. You can see this famous MATLAB figure here and you can actually control the position of this aircraft. So you can ro uh, change the azimuth or the yo as they call it you can pitch this aircraft up and down and you can roll it actually and uh, you may wonder how I'm doing this and actually it's done through my mobile phone so you can rotate this aircraft model across various angles uh, axis using an Android phone. This also works with iPhone. So if I'm turning my phone, the plane moves accordingly. So I can pitch it up or roll it and also, well, change the azimuth. Oops, something happened here. Yeah. It's not perfect. So this is an interesting solution. So yeah, this is actually a demonstration how you can grab data from a smartphone like this and visualize it. And uh, the next question is how, how do you do this? And um, this is what I would like to show you. And actually this is pretty easy to do. So if you go to the MathWorks webpage or just Google MathWorks or MATLAB and Android maybe, uh, you will definitely find this page. So this is a page which shows how Android sensor is supported from MATLAB. And you can also see that iPhone is also supported. And you can have access to several different sensors in these phones, like acceleration, magnetic field, azimuth roll, pitch, latitude, longitude, altitude, and speed. So you have Build a lot of data that you can work with. And what you need to have in order to do this is, of course, you need to have an Android phone or an iPhone. You need to have MATLAB. And also, you need to download uh, a MATLAB package, which is downloadable from the file exchange. So if you download this data, uh, these files, and uh, install them on your computer. And these are actually just MATLAB M files. Now you are able to connect to your phone if that phone is equipped with an app which you can download from the Google Play or from, from the iTunes. And this is the Google version. So this sends a UDP. You can see here the screenshot of this single app. So you can just set the IP, the port, and also then you can select what kind of sensor you would like to send over. So this is actually using Wi-Fi connection between the iPhone or Android and your uh, desktop. And I'm just showing you my code. So this is pretty simple. Uh, well, yes, back to the visualization. The visualization was also downloaded from the MATLAB file exchange. So I just found this. I just typed here. Uh, aircraft in the search field and that's so aircraft and that directed me to several hits and one of those hits is this uh, nice F4 font model in MATLAB so you can download this for free so so far you haven't paid for anything uh, only for MATLAB okay so if you download then you will have this uh, flight this function that you can use to visualize this uh, motion. So what I'm doing here, I'm just using the sensor group, which is this downloadable code, which connects me to this Android mobile, which allows me to do several things. For instance, I can query uh, some values, which I selected. Here I'm using acceleration and orientation, but if you select magnetic field and others, then you will also have uh, access to those data as well. The next step I did, I created a timer, and the timer is every tenth of a second just firing one function, which is this update Android function. 
So this is just a simple MATLAB script. Really simple. This is and this is update Android function is a MATLAB function which is receiving this Android object. And then through this Android object, I have access to this data which is necessary. Orientation also acceleration. Uh, and then I'm using this flight viz function, which I downloaded from uh, the file exchange. Okay, so uh, that's it. It pretty much that's it. Um, I'm just calling this function, and then I'm starting my timer. I'm starting my, my timer. My timer object will fire every tenth of a second, and calling this update under int function, which is querying down the data, and calling that visualization function. So if you change this update under int function, replace with some your own code, then you will have some other visualization data analysis capabilities. So let me just start again this uh, function. Yeah, it's already running, it says, so you can stop it. And then, oh, then start it again. Okay, and then you see that this is what I have here. Yeah. So again, mobile is sending out data, the selected data. You see that data app is running on my screen. And then this data, which is sent over the, the mobile, is captured by MATLAB and uh, oops, yeah, it's stuck somehow, and, and sent this visualization function. So, this is it. Thank you, and I hope you find it useful.